representative that is not representing you. Love that. And so as you talk to voters, you want to do what? I want to represent them. I want to be their voice, and I want to be that independent voice because I'm not controlled by my Madigan like my opponent. Oh, I love that. Say that one more time, Alicia. <laughs> Send people down to Springfield who will take power away from Mike Madigan. Alicia Benford will be one of those. Um, look, it's not easy to run, is it? It is not easy to run. Where are you spending most of your time doing? I'm spending most of my time door knocking with voter engagement. I attend every event that I can, which I was doing that before anyway. Um, and making sure that I understand all of the needs of the people. I love it. Her name is Alicia Benford. She's a Republican running for state rep in the 98th district. Yeah. Everybody in yeah. everybody. Bowling book, Romeoville, Crest, Crest Hill, Hill Juliet, Juliet, and a little bit of Plainfield. And a little bit of Plainfield. You live in those areas, you gotta get your butt out to vote and you gotta get your butt out to vote for Alicia Benford. She's not Mike Madigan. It's all about voting for who is not Mike Madigan. Alicia, you're the best. So what are the big issues in this race? Joe, we have several big issues, and thank you for inviting me here tonight. What a great crowd, what a great event. Jim Lott, yeah, but I, I just want to tell you, Joe, there's a lot of issues we have at the Sheriff's Department. <laughs> Firstly, we're suffering from lack of leadership and accountability, and I put that directly on Sheriff Mike Kelly. You know, the other night I attended a large event on the Coney Beach area, there yeah. have been a definite rise in crime, and just, uh, you know, his inability to we need to be accountable for what is happening. Uh, we just need new leadership, and we need someone who understands that we work for people in Will County, not Pat his political pockets with men. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Now, uh, Jim, I want to ask you about this issue. There was, and I know I'm going to get the details wrong, but there was an illegal alien who, and maybe like down Joey M. Way or whatever, committed a crime, a few rapes. Joe, you're on the story. It's horrific. It, it is definitely. Joe, what we had is we had an illegal immigrant who was here in Will County. He was out there living in our community and he was undocumented. He got arrested at least 25, maybe up to 50 times. Seriously? Yes, sir. And he's able to use different names and dates of birth. And we were unable to identify him. And again, Joe, that falls right on the shoulders of Sheriff Mike Kelly. He has changed department policy where we no longer are able to bring people down and fingerprint them and photograph them and positively identify them. He's changed policy where that's no longer required. That's crazy. It is that's crazy. crazy. Why, and again, I'm not a cop. I'm not a sheriff, so why, why the heck would you do that? You know, you know, I think it just falls on his lack of uh, education, that the man just suffers from lack of education and understanding what goes into being uh, a good sheriff and a cause of the people. How do you say this? I love this guy to my left. I love it. Yeah. 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 My extensive background with federal agencies, I've worked in undercover capacity with federal agencies. We're going to start an undercover narcotics unit, the main house unit, right here in Will County. And I got to tell you another thing, we're going to create an in house tactical unit. This is a plain clothes unit that can respond rapidly. We all know crime is fluid, and you have to have an in house unit that can move quickly and respond to different areas of Will County, operate in full work capacity. If we have five unit, and, and it would not have happened the way it happened out of Green Garden where we got a home invasion. By the way, I didn't want to tackle that issue long before it occurred. By the way, I feel really safe. Just sit next to him. Yay! So, 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 Will County's got crime issues. Yes, sir. Will County has issues of, again, illegal aid as well. Yes, sir, without a doubt. And you know as well, Joe, if I pulled you over tonight on your way home, the first thing I'd ask is for your driver's license. Yes. You as a member of society and our elected society, we have to be able to identify people. Sheriff Kelly has taken that ability away from us, out of control, out of our enforcement, and that needs to change. It needs to change quick. Who knows how many more rapists are out there walking around right now? That 
needs to change, and everybody listening to me in Will County right now, it ain't changing unless we change leadership. Jim Riley, running for Will County Sheriff. This is your candidate. Every Republican, Independent, and Democrat in Will County, you got to come out this November and vote, and you got to vote down ballot for all of these important races, and you got to vote. Give it up again. Jim Riley, running for Will County Sheriff. Thank you.